viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 2. So the first four episodes covered the multiple choice section, then um, the last episode covered question E, B1. So let us look at question E, B2 in detail. Start the following flow chart and answer the questions that follow. Liquid P mixed with liquid Q to give us a mixture called X. Then no distinct layer seen between P and Q when they form a mixture X. Then we separate a mixture X using separation technique T to give us P and Q back. What are liquids P and Q in mixture X called? So what is key here is the fact that when we mix P and Q, we, we don't observe any distinct layer in the mixture. So the liquids that do not show a distinct layer when they are mixed are known as in miscible. Miscible liquids. Then those that show the distinct layer are known as in immiscible. Immiscible liquids. So in this case we are dealing with him the miscible liquids in the question. Question B what is the separation technique T give the criterion used to separate the mixtures? So when you go back here and see this separation technique used to separate miscible liquids that do not have the distinct layer, the method that we use is um, the distillation techniques. So it could be either simple distillation or fractional distillation. So either in of that would be correct. So you see distillation techniques. So how do these two differ? So for simple distillation, uh, you use it to separate liquids in a mixture with a wide. So a wide difference in boiling points. That's when you use simple distillation. Then fractional distillation, you use it to separate liquids. These liquids are miscible liquids that have a mixture with cross boiling points. So this one is in cross boiling points. Then this one is in wide boiling points. That's when you use them. So either of these will be correct because we are not told whether they have got in close boiling point or wide boiling points. So the best answer would be uh, distillation techniques. So distillation techniques. So you can either go with it, fractional distillation or simple distillation. Any of these will still be a collect. Even if you say distillation techniques, this covers the two, which is simple distillation and the fractional distillation. Then what's the criteria? Uh, the two liquids have different boiling points. So if the boiling points are closed, you use fractional distillation. If they are wide, you use simple distillation. Then question C, deduce the names of liquids P and D, Q. We already gave examples. So a P would be a water as an example of miscible liquids then a q would be alcohol or you can start with alcohol then end with water so either these two are the perfect example of miscible liquids so once you do this you get uh, these uh, five marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question e, b3 Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking 
and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics are based on vision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic